Inside this video right here, I'm gonna show you whether you should become an EMT or a paramedic. Here we go. Hey everyone, it's the Paramedic Coach here. I'm about to dive into this video for you. Now, first thing, hit the like button down below. Smash and I like that like button for your fellow EMS brother and sisters. Every time you hit the like button, someone else out there sees the video. So the more likes, the more this video gets spread so students can understand this stuff better. And finally, hit that subscribe button, smash it so you can get more of this content right here. Now, what we're gonna be talking about is should you become an EMT or a paramedic? Here is my first thought. I always say that the role of the EMT and the paramedic is two different roles. So let's talk about that briefly and then dive into the exact points. So first, the EMT role is basic life support and understanding the ground EMS operations, right? The main thing that an EMT does is recognize life threats and they become an expert of EMS operations, which means moving, lifting patients, driving the ambulance, recognizing life threats, recognizing this patient might be having a stroke and need to go to a stroke center, recognizing this is a major trauma that needs a surgeon, we need to go to this hospital, or we need to fly them here, right? That's a great EMT. Now the paramedic is an EMT, that has gone to additional schooling. Okay, you gotta be EMT first. But then the paramedic, once they get certified and licensed, they have more medications and more knowledge, mainly in cardiology and pharmacology that makes the paramedic. And of course, they have a deeper understanding of anatomy and physiology and stuff like that, yes. But really, it's cardiology and pharmacology that makes the medic. Using more medications, you have used to use more medications, and understanding cardiology at a deep level really makes the paramedic. Now, if an EMT and a paramedic are working together as a team, the EMT is focused on, okay, how are we getting this patient out of here? What are the logistics here? Is the scene continuing to be safe? Or the paramedic is hyper-focused on patient care. How do I make this patient better? Or the EMT is like watching out, making sure everything else is going okay, while the paramedic, like myself, can hyper-focus. Make sense? Okay, great. So now we understand that. What should you do? Here are my thoughts. I'm gonna flip around here, and we're gonna dive into it. Now that we understand the roles and responsibilities, here are my main final thoughts to you. When you look at an EMT, the EMT is the first level. You have to do that either way. So if you're someone you know, like me when I started, you were unsure if you wanted to get into EMS. You know, I had nobody in my family that was even in healthcare, right? So when I entered EMT school at 19 years old, I said, hey, let me just try this out, right? That's probably the situation that you're in right now too. Go in, try it out. Two things are gonna happen, and this is usually the case. You're either gonna fall in love with it or you're absolutely not gonna like it. And like, if you're like me and you fall in love with it, you're probably gonna go for your paramedic one day. That's usually the case of what happens. Now, if you're getting your EMT, maybe because you're doing pre-nursing, right? Or you're doing pre-PA or pre-med school, you're already on that pathway. An EMT can be used for that. You getting your paramedic when you're on that pre-nursing, pre-PA, pre-med path, usually it doesn't make sense Usually the paramedicine path is a different path than those paths that you're gonna take. You're already on that one. Get your EMT, get a lot of experience. You know, maybe if you wanna pick up your advanced EMT, the reason I'm saying that, it's quick for you when your eye is on a nursing or PA or, or medical school uh, prize, right? But, like me, you are on the EMS pathway, you're gonna fall in love with it, right? And those are the people that really fall in love with EMS and you're gonna to wanna to Keep doing it, right? So what's gonna happen? You're gonna to go to EMT, get some experience, and you're probably gonna go apply to paramedic school and you like, no, I wanna be a full-fledged paramedic. I wanna get all the extra stuff, all the bells and whistles. That's probably gonna be you, right? You'll know this very, very soon as you enter EMT school, but what's the first step? Becoming an EMT is the first step. So if you're watching this video and you're thinking about uh, becoming an EMT, go ahead and become one. And I'll give you a few things here just to tell you about. One, you're not gonna find a job 
that you can that you can get into fairly fairly quickly where you can really impact someone's life and help people in a short amount of time and you can become and gain life-saving skills you can use the rest of your life right no matter how far you go okay that's two of the biggest reasons right there to gain your EMT a lot of the, the courses in EMT are only for example they could be eight weeks 12 weeks long some are even shorter by the way you know I usually recommend a three-month course if you can get a traditional course that's usually great you a little more time and go ahead and get your national registry regardless of if you're in a national registry state or not get it because if you want to move around you got your national registry now if you're somebody right now who's thinking about going to EMT school the one thing that they do not tell you about is they don't tell you how accelerated the course is it's not that the, the, the EMT or paramedic training is so difficult. It's like it's not like doing geometry algebra. That, that's hard, and I'm not good at that either. Don't worry, okay? But here's what it is. It's very, very accelerated. It's a fire hose of information coming at you very fast. So this is why I have my video prep course. You can see on the screen here. If you're in school right now, if you're getting ready for national registry testing, or you're getting ready for school at EMT, advanced EMT, or the paramedic level, this is 400 plus videos of prep content, plus on the job tips for every level once you get out on the road and understanding all the EMS meds. Remember how important that pharmacology was? It's in there. The cardiology, it's in there. So check it out. It's my video study course. It's my life's work. And I'm going to give you, just for watching this video, I'm going to give you a lifetime access when you click the link down below first link in the description my friends hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you next time thanks for watching waste don't waste any time don't don't be hesitant and just do it because i know this program works and i know it's it got me to where i was where it's been a year without school from emt to hey i passed my test in 70 questions like go for it you could do it like do not hesitate and don't waste any time people that don't know you they need to, they need this program. This program is not a, a choice. To me, this program is a have to. It take uh, uh, thousands and thousands of pages in the books and you just narrow it down and just make everything simple to pass the registry. So uh, it's, it's, it's great content, man. I promise you it's worth it. Took this with three weeks left to go in my class and I just, I'm not sure if I would have been able to pass my course or the NREMT first try without this course. The fact, like, when I was taking the, the national and I would read the question and I, I would be like, whoa, Evan literally just went over this in the car. So it's, it really, it helps. I got to the point where I was just ready to spill all my knowledge onto this freaking test. So I'm like, you know what, man, just go ahead, go for it. Open it up, boom, congratulations, you passed. It was um, outside of having my children, man, it's probably the, like the happiest day of my life, bro, to be honest with you.